So those Pinterest pictures, they're shiny and pretty, but my next guest says most of those pictures are missing something important, interest. And old is interesting. So maybe you inherited a hutch from your grandma or you have your eye on an armoire at your local antique shop. Interior designer Emily England claims that every room, every room needs a touch of vintage. She's here to help us know how to incorporate these aged pieces in a way that belongs. Welcome, sister. Thank you for having I me. I always love learning from you oh, and seeing so your nice. talent in action as we learn along to photos as well. I think we often think, Emily, and you probably hear and feel this from your clients, that in order to achieve this polished look, everything needs to be new. Yeah, but then it looks too perfect mm. and it can look like exactly like your neighbors or a house down the street, and who wants that? You want that one of a kind, kind of lived in look. Yes, absolutely. And I think the best way to get something unique is to have a vintage or antique piece because there really are, there's only one. Everybody brace yourself and like center your confidence because you're about to define for us what vintage and antique yes. is. Like by definition, what is that? So a vintage piece is anything that's 30, it was made 30 plus years ago to 99 <laughs> years. So and like then, 1990? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> that we grew up with, like I'm vintage. Now. I'm vintage, I'm vintage. Too. <laughs> So, and then antique is technically anything 100 plus years. Oh wow. So, and it's good to know the difference because once something is um, antique, it actually holds greater value. Not always, mm -hmm. but it can it hold can. greater value. Well, it's an interesting time to discuss this topic now because trends are cycling faster, like experts have mm -hmm. confirmed that. And right now, as we're seeing like the cute bows and those vintage trends, we remember that. That's not too far in the distance future. Totally. So grandma's pieces that she's giving you, actually I think the up and coming eye has more appreciation for. Well, there, everything is definitely trending towards antiques and vintage. Like there's an upsurge um, in people that are purchasing them. And yeah. I think one reason is when we're investing in our home, we want it to feel like it's gonna last. Like right. you're not gonna have to re keep replacing everything. And so these pieces actually are timeless. And the craftsmanship you say. Oh, it's so much different better. Too. It's yeah. so good. I mean, and I, there are things that are well-made today, but these pieces, especially if they're antiques and yeah. they've lasted a hundred years, they're gonna last a hundred more years and they're not gonna go out of style. I mean, the craftsmanship is incredible. There's a familiar reference on this show. It's my grandma's green couch, vintage green couch. Yes. It's like grass green. It's right in my, you know, formal living yeah. room as you walk into our home. But everyone who sees it, touches it, sits on it is like, this feels brand new. It's not. You can tell from looking at it. I mean, it's well, it's in good condition. It was well preserved. But the, the quality of that furniture is just amazing. It is. It's really kind of incredible yeah. how the people cared, I think, a little bit more about how yeah. they made things. All right, we're gonna look in on your okay. lookbook and learn as we do. So let's put this first photo in our monitor. This is gorgeous, okay. a design of yours. Tell us where the vintage is. Okay, so this is a brand new kitchen and it just felt like everything was so perfect. Uh -huh. So we actually, these plates on the wall are the client's mother's plates from Love. France. They're Love. very old. And then um, I think it's out of the screen now, but the the um, cutting boards are antiques too. Mm. And I think they're kind of fun because when you get a new cutting board, I think you're almost like, oh my gosh, I'm hacking it up. And yeah. these old ones already have that beautiful patina. So they feel great. They're worn, they're yeah. loved. Let's look at another snapshot of another space and you can call out the vintage here. Okay, well. there's actually tens here. So the copper here, these are little coppering measuring Darling. Like this is how they measured before measuring. And there's that patina cups. you talked about. Yeah, the about patina. That and aged. then up in the corner, the client has actually quite a few antiques from Sweden. So we just put them in built-ins throughout the house. Mm. And it's such a fun, like, nod to her heritage. Yes, there's meaning there yes. and also uniqueness. You're not going to find that at totally. Home Goods. You're not going to find that at any case goods store. Okay, one more to look in and learn from. Okay, this mirror, that mirror isn't is, this amazing? That is stunning. Okay, so here is a little hack, but what? I found this on eBay and it's a mirror from an old hotel. It's a Trumo mirror, but it was not that expensive, but just to find something that is so unique, it's such a showstopper. We'll look at a few other pictures while we chat, but is mixing the key then blending old with new? Yeah, I actually think that is really the key. If you get too heavy handed, and I think there's too many antiques and vintage pieces, I think it can start to feel stale. Mm -hmm. And I think what we want is to just mix it in with newer items so that we've got it feeling fresh and 
kind of charming yeah. and different. And does it matter, Emily, if it doesn't quite go with my current style, if my style is transitional or my style even is modern? Uh, no, no, so I actually think, I mean, one of my favorite tricks is to have like an old antique chest with a piece of like modern art over it. That mm. is so interesting. If you start looking at really great designers, they're always mixing that old and new. So like old um, pieces of copper in like modern kitchen. So I think it doesn't matter what your style is. If you're mid-century modern, you can get a great Ames chair. There's, there is something that you can add in no matter what your style is. Let's walk and okay. look because you brought some pieces into the studio. This will help us know what to look for, how to shop it. Yes. This first, hello, oh. I can't even. Hand over heart, this is gorgeous. Tell Isn't us about this. This is incredible. So this is a piece of vintage art. I actually got it from an art dealer and a lot of art oh. dealers will have new and old pieces of art. Um, I have a ton of vintage art, so I love this one. This one is a seascape that I got from an art dealer, but you can go to secondhand stores, estate sales, you can look online. I mean, one time I found some art on KSL and I knew it was so special. It was a lithograph from England and they were selling it. They were like, $35 or best offer. And I almost felt like I was stealing from well, it because I was gonna it was say, so valuable. The value of the art is in the eye, right? So valuable to you because totally. you knew, but also if this piece speaks to you, as we say, you'd be willing totally. to pay a little more, but get a bargain in many yes, cases. Yes. This is gorgeous. So this is a piece, um, pictures are a great way to add to like a kitchen. So water pictures. Again, I think I got this one probably like eBay or KSL. Okay. It's from England wow. and there are cracks in it. So I don't, you guys, I don't use it. Right. But it's so incredible. Ooh, the shape and the curves. Oh, I love it. 30 seconds, point out a few other things. Okay, so these are antique books are amazing. Yes. Antique plates, we already talked about that little accessory. And hello, bow down to the goodbye. This is oh, amazing. Oh, you guys, this is my copper kettle that I carried on my lap home from England. You did not. You I were sitting on the plane. Yes, 10 hours. <laughs> but you know what, you guys, it wasn't that expensive oh. and to get a new piece of copper is hundreds of dollars yes. and I found this in an antique store okay. in the Cotswolds. We are gonna be looking at these thrifted or gifted or antique or vintage items with new fresh eyes. Thank you Thank for sharing you. your gift. Where can we see more of your work? So I'm on Instagram at Emily England Design. And taking on client projects. Yes, All absolutely. Right. Thank you so much.